To create the planetary rings, you first want to make sure you have your planet or a placeholder for the planet so we know how big we are going to make the rings. We then need to add a plane and scale it up. The size does not matter greatly as this can always be changed later on. So now we need to apply a material to the plane. Let's first start with the rings themselves and move them to the color last. First add a texture coordinate plugged into the mapping node from the UV output. With the mapping node, set the X and Y location to minus 0.5, which will be used to center the next node, which will be the gradient texture. This should then be set to spherical. Then plug the color output into a color ramp. This is where we form the border of the rings. For the sliders, set the first black slider to around 0.5, the next white slider to about 0.65 and the last black slider to 0.8. The color ramp should also be set to ease. Then plug the color output into a mix node set to color, multiply and factor one. Next, go back to the mapping node and add a wave texture. Set it to rings, Z, sine, scale about 1.7, Distortion 0, Detail 2, Detail Scale 1, Detail Roughness 0.5, Phase Offset 0. Plug the color output of the wave texture into a noise texture. Set the scale of the noise texture to about 92. Detail at 15, Roughness at 0.5, Distortion to 0.2. The noise texture, color output, then should be plugged into a color ramp with the black value set to 0.45. Then plug the color ramp into the B input of the mix node we added earlier. To add further detail to the rings, plug another mapping node from the texture coordinate UV output. Set the scale to about 50, then plug the mapping node into a Voronoi texture set to 3D, F1, Euclidean, scale to 200, and randomness to one. Then plug the distance output into another color ramp. This will then have the black slider set to 0.4 and the white slider set to 0.45. Plug the color output of the color ramp into the B slot of a math node set to subtract and plug the mix shader from earlier into the A input. Then add another math node set to multiply and plug the output of the subtract math node into the math node and set the value to about 30. Finally, plug the math node into the alpha of the principal BSDF. Next, we are going to add a gradient texture set to spherical and a color ramp set to ease, plugged in from the first mapping node we added. The color output of the color ramp should be plugged into the color input of the principal BSDF. Now change the colors as you wish, the darker the color, the more fade that it's gonna have. Finally, add another gradient texture set to spherical and a color ramp set to ease, this should then be plugged into the principal BSDF roughness input and drag the black sliders to dim the colors as you wish, but I have set the first slider to 0.6, the second at 0.66, and the last at about 0.77. If you do not wish to do this with your rings, you can just unplug the color ramp and set a roughness value that you wish, such as about 0.25. To personalize the rings more, you can change the scale of the wave texture and the values of the noise texture. To have the rings be brighter, change the multiply math node to a higher value or vice versa for a dimmer set of planetary rings. Consider subscribing and liking the video to help support more of this type of content.